We now join AI Gaming 1776 for a review of the PS4 Pro. Anyway, I've had quite a bit of experience playing games on PC in 4K. I've used good hardware, so when I talk about 4K gaming, I'm pretty comfortable knowing what I'm talking about. And the PS4 Pro does a really decent job a lot of the time, considering how much money it costs. Now, I'm saying a really decent job. I'm not saying the best job ever. I'm not saying that it is um, a slam dunk by any means. There, there's some compromises, all right? But it's a much better job than I ever, ever could have anticipated, all right? It, it almost doesn't make sense how good the PS4 Pro games can look. And I say can look because they don't all look fantastic, all right? Some of them look really, really good. Some of them look eh, not so good, all right? So let me give you an example. Uh, well, actually, first, let's talk about the frame rate situation. I was really concerned about having to play the games in uh, 30 frames per second, right? At 30 FPS. I love 60 FPS. That's why I've got a GTX 1080. That's why I've got several GTX 1070s. I can run two of them in SLI with my current setup. And I'm very, very keen on 60 FPS gameplay. And I was very, I'm trying to think of the word here. I didn't have a lot of faith, all right? Like, I did not have a lot of faith in playing games at fake 4K 30 FPS with the PS4 Pro. I did not at all think it would be a good outcome. And the thing is, is sometimes it's a really good outcome, like a really honestly good outcome, even if you're picky. And then sometimes it's about as bad as you might have thought it would be. It just depends on the game, all right? So... In this game right here, Watch Dogs 2, honestly, I can almost never play a game like this at uh, 30 FPS, all right? And yet I can. Now, the only time I run into trouble playing this game at 30 FPS, matter of fact, can I, can I, come on, lady, get out of my way. All right, so the only time I run into trouble is there are some sections where you're controlling the little drone, not the flying drone that I showed you, but the car drone, if you will, the little jumper drone that rolls around on wheels. All right, so there are times that you control that thing and you go into event system and you're in a first, you're in a first person view. And to be honest with you, it, it's, um, it's difficult for me to control that in first person at 30 FPS, all right? But most of the time, I can play the game just fine. I was really hoping, wow, that is glitching up. I was really hoping this thing would go up high enough, all right? Check this out. Get out my little quadcopter. That's how close we are to that money bag. Close, but no cigar. I'm not sure how to get up here. Maybe you guys know. Maybe I'll look it up later, but nope, I can't get up here. All right, so anyway, 30 FPS. In this game, mostly, okay, now driving a car when the police are chasing you and you have to do some uh, some tricky turning, that's not so great. I don't really enjoy that. Also, there are some times where you're trying to maneuver through cover and you're in some shootouts, and that's not so great either, right? So if you love high frame rates, then you're going to know what I'm talking about. It's not always the most appealing thing to control this at 30 FPS, but it's mostly good. This game is mostly good. Now, a game that's not good, in my opinion, whatsoever, is Shadow of Mordor. Ooh. About to flip that over. All right, so Shadow of Mordor actually looks pretty good. I'm not sure if it's real 4K or if it's fake 4K, but it does look pretty good for what it is. All right? I'm actually fairly impressed with it. However, it is some of the worst motion blur riddled, terrible... 30 FPS gameplay I've ever experienced in my life. And I get motion sickness trying to play that game. So here is a third person uh, action game, if you will. 30 FPS, fake 4K. Looks good. Plays mostly well. Um, like I said, there's missions where you have to do shooting, or you have to do shooting, or you have to do driving, and they're difficult. And I have to replay them, and I don't think it, it's one of those things where, like, you're fighting the controls. Again, if you prefer PC gaming, higher frame rate gaming, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Where when you have to play at 30 FPS, it can feel like you're fighting the controls. So those things frustrate, but at the end of the day, the experience is good enough with this game. It looks good enough. It plays well enough. Watch Dogs 2. 
that I'm fine with it. Shadow of Mordor, I'm not fine with. Shadow of Mordor, it looks really good for fake 4K, but man, it is it is a very big hassle. It's very difficult to control the camera. You get surrounded by all these enemies. You're trying to deal with them. Not a good experience. So it really changes case by case, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a series of videos, right? Like a whole bunch of little videos giving you like little pot shots, in my opinion, of how these games on PS4 Pro play. Um, I don't wanna, I think I will do a review, don't get me wrong, but I don't want to just do a blanket review because here's the problem. Unlike a gaming PC, hmm, didn't know there was a money bag there. Actually, what's over here? Let's go to that one. All right, so unlike a gaming PC, uh, like, if you, let's say you have two GTX 1080s in SLI and most of your games are SLI compliant, they're going to play well in SLI, you can have a certain expectation of performance, right? Or even if you take SLI out of the equation, you have a single GTX 1080 and you're playing at 1080p uh, resolution, you can expect to be able to max out just about any game and get at least 60 FPS. And in a lot of games get well over 100 FPS. You could expect that with the GTX 1080 system. And so it would be easy to review a graphics card like a GTX 1080 or a computer system with an i7 processor and a GTX 1080. But what's not easy to review is the PS4 Pro because all these games, it's, it's up to the developer, right? It's up to the developer to make these games playable. They get to pick the frame rate. They get to pick the resolution. With the PS4 Pro, you're not getting to pick the resolution. They pick it for you. So, for example, um, Uncharted 4 has 1440p resolution. If you don't like that, too bad. All right? They don't use, to my knowledge, I think it's like a straight 1440p. It's not using that checkerboard rendering. So... You play Uncharted 4, which, by the way, it looks fantastic, even though it is 1440p, even though you are playing on a 4K screen, it looks better than it has any right to. Like, it can trick you into thinking it's 4K. Even if you've done 4K gaming on a PC, that's the thing. Some of these games can actually trick you into thinking you're looking at 4K. Like, if you didn't know any better, if somebody didn't tell you that it is fake 4K, it's not a real full 4K, it could trick you. Now... I find that very interesting because if you look at the normal PlayStation 4 and if you look at it when it has to run a game in 900p, it very rarely tricks me into thinking I'm looking at 1080p, right? So the, the PlayStation 4 Pro is doing something, all right? Like it has some kind of voodoo black magic where it is doing something to trick me in the thinking I'm looking at 4K. Now, it doesn't always do that, okay? Like, Rise of the Tomb Raider, um, even with Rise of the Tomb Raider, I believe it's said to be native 4K. Don't hold me to that, but I believe it's native 4K. There's times where it does not look like native 4K. All right, Rise of the Tomb Raider will get its own video. It's okay, all right? But it is not great on this system, not yet. Like, maybe if they patch it, it'll become great. But as of right now, oh, check this out. So what we're going to do is oh this is a police station oh that that changes things i i i don't want to i don't want to attack a police station over a money bag although i kind of do i might i might do it we'll see anyway the point being ps4 pro a lot of games look good some don't in my opinion rise of the tomb raider does not look very good on this system even when you play it in 1080p it's only okay uh, the Last of Us looks great. This game looks really good. Um, Uncharted 4 looks great. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, you know what? I'm going to throw the drone out. Why didn't I think of that? Because I just got the drone. I've not had the flying drone for very long. So sometimes I forget I can use it. Alright, so that's where the money bag is. And again, this, this, is, this uses checkerboarding and it's still not 4K. So this is like a super, super fake resolution. Alright, so anyway... Back, back to what I was trying to get at. Um, games look good on here, all right? Some do, some don't. I'm going to do multiple videos on this subject. I've got a ton of games. Um, now, in case you guys don't know how I do things on this channel, all right? In case you guys don't know, 
how I do things on this channel. I pay for all of my games and all of my hardware. So I bought this PS4 Pro. I bought all these games, all right? So here we go. Let's go rapid fire really quickly. Dishonored 2, it's good. It's not great. It's good. It doesn't suck. It's good, but it's not great. As far as how, how as far as how good it looks, how well it controls, how well it performs, I'm going to give it a 7. Um that's still pretty good. All right? It's not bad, but in my opinion, it looks like it's 4K, but it looks like it um is on maybe even like a, a medium level of detail setting and it looks like it's using FXAA for the anti-aliasing. It's not very impressive. Plus the resolution, I'm not even sure what the resolution is, all right? So it it's it's good, all right? It's not garbage and considering that the the PC has performance issues right now at launch, it's not the worst way to play the game. All right, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I'm still trying to figure this out. In some areas, it is beautiful. In other areas, it's just okay. So I don't know how I feel about that yet. Uncharted 4, really good. All right. Rise of the Tomb Raider Anniversary Edition here. It's okay. It's okay. It's... I think it's better on PC, though, by, like, a pretty wide margin. All right, so Assassin's Creed Ezio Collection. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's, um... It looks good, but they didn't really change the geometry. So it's still got the old geometry to it. The character models are not the best. But it's not bad. All right, uh, here's a movie. Uh, movies are good on it. Now, this particular TV, great for games, only okay for movies. All right, Watch Dogs 2, that's what we're playing. Really good for 30 FPS. Really good, and it looks really good. Uh, this video that you're watching is not going to do it justice. Titanfall 2, pretty good. They, they could have done better. They could have made some different choices. Um, doesn't look as good as it should, in my opinion. Because even on Xbox One, Titanfall 2 looks good. Um, on an Xbox One, which is like super underpowered. So I feel like they could have done better with the PS4 Pro. It doesn't look as good as I would expect, but it's it's not bad. It's okay. All right, so Shadow of Mordor, I already told you, not a fan of that. Uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It's... Some parts of it during the missions just look okay. And then other parts of it, like the cutscenes, the cutscenes look fantastic. The cutscenes look really good. Very immersive. Um, let's watch Dogs 2. Now, I do have more games, but the video's already long enough. I'm, okay, so I'm going to look in a drawer right now. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, it's okay. There's too much motion blur, though. So even though it looks okay, it's it, I'm put off by the amount of motion blur I'm seeing. Fallout 4 does not look that great. The opening of Fallout 4, that looks good. Uh, the first level like makes me think, oh, wow, this is going to be legit. And as soon as you get into the open world, it's not that great. And I assume that you know it's trying to render all that stuff in the open world and yeah, it's not that great anyway anyway uh let me see here oh infamous second son oh man i just well first of all i just hit the camera and second of all i just lost a game in the drawer it went behind the drawer infamous second son looks way better than than it has any right to look uh, don't use HDR in that game. HDR does not look good in that game. Infamous Second Son looks better than you could ever expect it to look. Okay, it remember it's practically a launch title for the PS4. Uh, it was a pretty basic game to start with. Now it always looked okay, and they had an unlocked frame rate option for it, which really pays off with the PS4 Pro. Um, but Infamous Second Son is a treat. And here's the thing. All right, so look at that. I got it. I got it used. I got it used for 15 bucks, right? For 15 bucks, solid, solid game. All right, solid game. Same thing with that other infamous game, the spinoff game uh, with with um, with the girl. I forget. Uh, I forget the name of it. I'd have to go into my. Um... Well, here, let me give you an idea of all the games that I've got here that I've been testing. All right. Do 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 do. -do. Would it be over here? Actually, here's a library. Here's a library. So here's the games I've been checking out. 
All right. Black Ops 3 is decent. Uh, Modern Warfare Remaster, not as good as I'd, I would have hoped, to be honest with you. I'm not very impressed with it whatsoever. I know it's an older game, but I'm not impressed with it. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just not. Destiny. Now, no one said anything about Destiny, but uh, about Destiny getting an update, but I swear it looks better on the PS4 Pro on a 4K screen. Like, it looks like they did something to it. It doesn't look fantastic. It doesn't look mind-blowing, but it looks better. See, a lot of 1080p games, uh, or 900p, or whatever they are, uh, that haven't had any, like, special patch done to them, they don't look that great. But Destiny looks like something's been done to it. It looks better than stock Destiny, in my opinion. All right, so Deus Ex Mankind. So I've already talked to you about these games. GTA V, I've not tested that enough yet to see what I think of that. Uh, Infamous First Light, that's what I was looking for. So Infamous First Light, again, leave HDR turned off, okay? And then choose the performance option because they give you like a 4K option and a performance option. Choose the performance option. So Infamous Second Son, Infamous First Light, both of those. Turn HDR off, they screwed it up. It, the HDR does not look good. And then uh, choose the performance option. All right. And then told you about Ratchet and Clank. So, yeah, there we go. But here's the thing. Like, unlike a lot of people, even, you know, GameSpot, which is a professional website, unlike a lot of people who have quote unquote reviewed the PS4 Pro, I've actually, t I got the game, uh, I got the system the day before it launched. I got it early the night before. Um, I'm out on the West Coast, so I got it at 9 o'clock at night, uh, the day before launch. So I've had it since, like, the earliest I could get it in the United States. And, well, legitimately get it. And I have put in work on all these games. Now, I actually have a pretty big audience for PC gaming, and I have been kind of standing my PC gaming brethren up to do this PS4 testing because I believe in 4K. I believe in 4K very much so. All right. So what we go, what we're going to do, hopefully Watch Dogs saved my progress. If it didn't, that, that, that's fine. I haven't done too much. It'll be all right. So let me back this up real quickly. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I hit the tripod earlier. So this video is going to take forever to process now. It's a, four, it's a 4K video that I'm shooting. YouTube hates long videos. So what I'm going to do is for all these games, I'm going to do short videos, like five to ten minute videos for each game. All right. So I'm going to tell this to continue. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see on this camera looking here at the TV. I don't know if you're going to be able to see how well it looks. Oh, and it's all rainy and gray right now. All right. So when I look here, let me see what happens if I tap on this. I'm trying to... This thing is fully automatic. I can't do anything about that. All right. So when I look on the TV screen, it looks better than what you're seeing right now. I can I can already tell. But as you can see, the reflections are kind of decent. They're kind of half-assed reflections. They're not like 100% legit. But um, all right, where's it at? See, do, 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 do. see the little little spotlight here. Like, there's a lot of details that look really good. Let me show you these settings. Um, flip it down here. All right, so brightness, I think, is one above the middle. Or it's either right at 50% or one notch above 50%. Frame rate is unlimited. HDR rendering is off. Performance is set for better frame rate, all right? And this makes the game play the smoothest, and in my opinion, it looks the best. Because when it does the 4K, the so-called 4K resolution, whether it's real 4K or not, I'm not even sure. Um, it doesn't look right. All right, it doesn't look right. Look at that. That is actually what all those lights on the screen right now and all the reflections and stuff. This, oh, yeah, you can't tell. It's all really impressive. There we go. Check that out. It's all really impressive on the screen. So considering that this is, I got this game for free with uh, PS Plus. And even if you pay for it, I don't think it's expensive. I think you can catch it on sale for pretty cheap. So these infamous games actually look really good considering how old they are, how cheap they are, and, you know, kind of like how simple a games they are. 
but you definitely want to get you're going to want to go for the uh, the higher frame rate performance you're going to want to turn off the HDR uh, it looks the 4k HDR looks pretty terrible in my opinion so anyway each game is going to get its own video this is a regrettably long video I do apologize for that if you guys have seen my channel before I try to give you a lot of information and as long as you think my videos are like imagine if you would have to go to different forums and you'd have to like read through different posts and different threads to get information and I would like to think it's quicker to watch one of my videos even though this is 21 minutes long right now uh, well this section that we're looking at is 21 minutes long and I might stitch in another section too so call it a 30 minute video I'd still like to think that's less time than digging through forums unless you're really efficient at it right uh, maybe you're like a speed reader and you're really good at picking things up in the forums but me when I go digging through forums I'm reading like every single response in there and that stuff takes a while anyway so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do little five to ten minute videos because those are gonna upload so much better and those are gonna be easier for you guys to watch and I'll be talking about how the games perform let me know what games you have questions about I plan to get Skyrim special edition and Battlefield 1 on Black Friday sales because again I pay for this stuff all right and Battlefield 1's been full price this whole time since I've had the system and I'm sorry but I'm, I wasn't gonna pay full price for it Dude, all these games almost all these games that I showed you uh, I got at the time I got the system um, within you know a couple days of it so it is it's been an ordeal to get all this stuff so yeah I'm waiting for sales so I'm gonna get Skyrim special edition I'm gonna get Battlefield 1 but let me know in the comments uh, what games you're qu curious about or what questions you have I'll put information about this television into the um, into the description box so I'll put information about the television there can I can I suck that up oh, no what is, what is this why is that purple so I have information about television I think it's a really good TV for gaming and it's not very expensive at all it's a 40 inch 4k 8-bit HDR remember 8-bit HDR is not the good HDR the good HDR is 10-bit but this isn't garbage in my opinion a lot of people will tell you it's garbage they'll tell you there's banding they'll say this that or the other it's it's not bad I, I think it's pretty good um, I will say this playing first-person shooters on it is not the best now if you're used to playing first-person shooters on TVs then I don't think it's gonna be an issue for you but I've been gaming on PC monitors for the last couple of years so even even when I do console gaming I've been gaming on PC monitors and as a result um, I'm not used to gaming on a TV this is I, I consider this to be difficult right like I don't consider first-person shooters to be easy on this all right um, overwatch is pretty much impossible for me on this but again if you're used to playing overwatch on a television then not gonna be a big deal to you if you're used to playing overwatch on a PC I've got 144 Hertz monitors if you're used to that then yeah overwatch is gonna be terrible for you on a TV like this uh, what else um, Call of Duty is okay it's playable on here I can do okay but I'm much better using a gaming monitor Battlefield I haven't played it yet and then Deus Ex I'm not gonna lie like first person 30 FPS is hard for me okay I'm on a TV when I'm, I'm used to uh, using a, a PC gaming gaming uh, monitor so that there's a strike there I'm used to um, higher frame rate so there's a strike there and so yeah I'm just you know letting you guys know what to expect but adventure games are great and again if you're used to playing your shooters on TV if you're used to playing at 30 FPS on consoles then I don't think it's gonna be that bad with all that said this is a good TV for gaming now when it comes to movies movies look good on it but it, there's motion blur all right so this TV with HDR on and all like the effects to make it look pretty make the make the picture look pretty and all that you know not having it in gaming mode watching a movie there is motion blur in the movies and sometimes when the camera pans it is distracting now I'm I'm anti motion blur I do not like motion blur whatsoever 
Motion blur historically has been a deal breaker for me, but I can, I can handle it on this TV. Now remember, this is an entry level 4K HDR television. It's only about 400 bucks, even when it's not on sale, it's only four something. Uh, I would not be surprised if during the holiday, this TV's less than 400 bucks. So keep that in mind, all right? They, they sell three and $4,000 televisions. So this is not a top of the line TV by any stretch of the imagination. So anyway, but I think it's pretty good. So there you go. Here's a whole butt ton of information about the TV. Um, how does the PS4 Pro stack up against PC gaming? Well, again, it, it's, it's okay. You know, it depends on the game. Some games are like really, really good. Some games are really, really good um, in the fake 4K. And some games are not that good. Like I said, Rise of the Tomb Raider doesn't even look that great to me. Uh, Shadow of Mordor, the camera is a nightmare for me. Moving that camera around is terrible. Now, Shadow of Mordor, even on PC, specifically does have settings for object motion blur and camera motion blur. So I'm assuming on the console, they've just got all the motion blur jacked up. Um, so some experiences, way better. I'll put it like this. If you have an expensive gaming PC with the hardware to handle 4K 60fps gaming, then that's going to beat this, okay? The thing is, all right, the thing is, is if you have anything less than a GTX 1070 or a 980 Ti, you start running into a situation where it can be argued that this can do pretty damn good at 4K, uh, even if it's fake 4K. Because again, there's some kind of secret sauce in the PS4 Pro. There, if you don't know what checkerboard resolution is, that's where like some of the pixels are missing. All right, so they do checkerboard like Call of Duty is 1600p with checkerboard rendering, all right? So it's better than 1440p, but it's checkerboard, so it's not a real 1600p. It's possible that a real 1400p, uh, 1440p looks better uh, than the fake 1600p. It's a fake 1600p on a 4K TV. I'm telling you, there is secret sauce going on where the PS4 Pro, in the right situation, with the right game, looks better than it should. Okay? I, I hope I'm communicating that well enough for you guys. The, the PS4 Pro is not easy to compare apples to apples to a gaming PC because the gaming PC doesn't have checkerboard rendering and it doesn't have the ability to, to fake 4K so well. Fake 4K looks really good on this system, I'm telling you right now, in the right game. Not in every game, but when it's done properly, it looks pretty good. And again, if you're going to get a PS4 Pro, I can't promise you that every game will look good. It depends on what choices the developers make. Okay, some are choosing to go real 4K. Some are choosing to go checkerboard 4K. Some are choosing to go real 1440p. Some are choosing to go checkerboard 1600. There's a lot of options these developers have. And I have no idea of knowing in the future, you know, when Final Fantasy 15 comes out, I have no idea what version of fake 4K they're going to be using. And that, that's an issue. So that's why it is so hard to review the PS4 Pro. And when people have only played like four games... You know, I'm not going to name names. I named GameStop, but GameSpot. But when people have literally only played four or five games and they're doing a review of the PS4, they're full of shit because they haven't played enough games to know what they're talking about. All right? So I try to keep it real, and hopefully you guys appreciate that. So again, this has been AI Gaming 1776. I know my videos are long, but dang it, I'm, I tell you guys a lot of information. And hopefully that information is useful for you. And again, let me know in the comments what questions you have, and I'll try to help you out. So please like, please subscribe, please share the video, please tell your friends. Uh, check me out on the Twitter, which is AI Gaming 1776 That's at Twitter. No, I don't have a lot of followers on there. I, I got over 500 videos, and I've literally only less than 10 of the videos have I ever told you guys to go to that Twitter.
counting this video, like maybe, maybe five. So I need to get better at that. I don't even put it in the description. I'm too busy putting information in the description that gives you guys info about gaming, right? Like my description boxes normally aren't full of self-promotion. But I need to start doing it because like all these games don't pay for themselves, right? So anyway, thanks for watching. Please support the channel. I'll try to support you. I'm trying to get to a point, by the way, where I can do giveaways. Anyway, please support the channel, guys. Anyway, please support the channel, guys. I'm trying to support you. I'm trying to help the gaming community and share the information I can. Remember, I am a real user. Real user. I don't get this stuff for free. So I give you guys, like, the real user experience when I do these videos. And again, hopefully you guys appreciate that. I appreciate you, yada, yada, yada. I've talked too much. And I promise you the other PS4 Pro videos are going to be shorter for the most part, I think. All right. Peace out.